Hi, Jennifer Yinko of Texas Home Group. Toilet paper issues? What to do when there is no toilet paper? Today, I'd like to deviate from my usual real estate topic and show you our way on how we clean ourselves using water instead of toilet paper. So let's start right now. If you're new to my channel, I talk about all things real estate. And if you want to be part of my insider real estate tips and secrets, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and notification bell. I upload new videos every Tuesday. Today's topic is totally different, not real estate related, but a must that we must learn. I know a lot of you are stressing out on so many things and one of them is toilet paper. Honestly, this is not even a problem in my household because we use a minimal toilet paper even prior to this crisis. So this is really not news at all. We are not bothered by it as long as we have our basic necessity like water, we are good. I'm born and raised from the Philippines. And toilet paper is actually not a necessity, but a luxury item. Not a lot can spend money to buy these things, and even then, we learn how to survive without using this so-called luxury item. I know here in America, it's common to have it, and it is considered a basic necessity. I guess this crisis will be a wake-up call for all of us not to depend on this so-called basic item and use what we have available in our very own home. Not only does it cause problems in our septic tanks or maybe clogged pipes, it also poses environmental problems. I know the people will claim that there are biodegradables or anything like that, but again, why not use something that we have here in our home and at the same time help take care of our environment, right? I'll talk about a practical way of cleaning yourself using water instead of toilet paper. I know others will recommend the use of bidet, but we don't need to buy anything expensive or cheap like that. You can buy if you want because there are cheaper bidets that you can purchase. But what if you don't have the money to purchase a bidet or you just don't want to purchase one? In my country, we use what we call tabo, or water dipper for short, or pitcher in English. I know all of the Filipinos know about this already, but I know some of you who are born, or majority of you are born or living here, might not be familiar with this tool. You can clean, you can use it to clean your front or rear end just using the simple household tool after you take a leak or defecate. At first, you'll be grossed out because you are using your own hands to wash yourselves. But hey, it's your own body. You're cleaning your own body. So there's really nas nothing nasty about it if you're doing it for your own body, right? Do you agree? Just make sure you clean your hands prior to washing any sensitive areas to avoid bacteria and infection. And towel dry yourself and again, wash your hands after you're done. We're already doing this washing of the hands, so this is a perfect way to do it during this time. Okay, here is what a tabo looks like. Okay, it has a handle. And I bought three of them before when I was in the Philippines and I brought them here in the early 2000s. And what I did is I usually disinfect these and you can buy this in Asian stores, but if you're not able to buy or go to Asian stores, you can use a variety of household pictures in the meantime. As long as, example, I have is like this or this, right? It has handles. As long as you can grab your hand into it without slipping because you don't want water to spill all over you. You can also use plastic, empty plastic water bottles as an alternative. 
uh, and because obviously you'll not have this uh, the tabo as your household tool at home. You can also use jugs that you're no longer using. Keep in mind that if you use a jug or a pitcher for sanitary purposes, do not reuse them for drinking. That will be gross and might cost you to get sick. Not to confuse you, I also use toilet paper when I'm out there using the public restrooms. Since there are no tabo in place, it's not even logical to do, right? But since most of us are at home, then we use this to conserve our own toilet paper. This is a cheap and alternative way of cleaning yourself. Not only that you'll feel refreshed when you do it, you will also save money in buying this so-called luxury item. Make sure you also have dry wash cloths on hand. I have several washcloths folded and these were laundered already and dried in the dryer with high heat. In this way, I also save by not using much of the paper towel. Here's a sample of what I do. I have all these washcloths folded, heated dry, and I put it on a plastic baggie and sealed, ready to use. And obviously, I also have my paper towel as a backup. It's a bit hard to do an actual demo. I don't want to do it in front of you because that would be a little bit inappropriate. So what I'll do is I'll only show you hand movements and how I do it or hand positions. And I will use my stuffed toys to uh, as volunteers so you can picture it yourself. It's really very easy to do. Like for everything, practice makes perfect. First, Fill up wa water in your tabo. Put liquid soap until you have a small lather. Then wash your front first, then your behind. And what's the reason behind this? Why we start from front to back? Usually when you get rid of your solid waste, you also empty your bladder, right? Uh, at the same time. So better to clean both sensitive areas as well. Again, you want front to back to avoid bacterial infection and, or UTI or urinary tract infection. If you need more water, just fill up your tabo. The first time you try it, it, you will create a mess. Water will spill everywhere. It's like water flossing. When you use it for the first time, water is scattering, right? But once you get a hang of it and with practice, you have control of it. The same thing with the use of tabo. After you're done, make sure to dry yourself. You can use paper towels or if you don't have paper towels like what I've shown you before, use washcloths that are heated dry and clean. For sure you'll spill or expect to spill water in your toilet bowl lids and cover and flooring. Just dry them out using paper towel or sanitized wipes. You really do not need a lot of paper towel here, but again, at first you might because you're practicing, but when you get a hang of it, only one or two squares are needed. Okay, ah, as I said, I'll be doing a demo using my stuffed toy. We have our volunteer here, my cute panda, and I will pretend this is a human being. <laughs> Okay, and this will be our toilet bowl or toilet seat. So first, make sure that your tabo is filled with water. Once that's filled with water, you can make it this half full or all the way, it's up to you, but for practice, or if, if it's, this is your first time, make it half full so you, you won't be spilling water everywhere. Then you'll also need to have like a soft soap or the soap that you usually use to wash your hands as well, right? And that is good for sensitive areas. So what you need, once you fill that up with water, pretend, use, use it to handle by using it with your dominant hand. That's what I meant, okay? So uh, with your right or left, whatever is your dominant hand, use to, this to pick it up like that, okay, that position. And first, as I've said, wash your front, then the back. Okay, 
let's pretend this hand has my soap already like a soft soap right and this hand has water so all you need to do is if I'll put this like this so you can see it better with my hand let's say this is my hand here and this is my tabo I'm using it with water all you need to do is pour it in front of you then wash up and down motion using up and down motion after which put this on the side pretend there's still water here all you need to do is scoot sorry I'm not handling that like that okay scoot a little bit front okay scoot a little bit front so you can ex kind of expose your behind right and with your hand the dominant hand again with water in place and with soap on the other side you can use an angle like this let's say this is my hand here you'll pour it like that okay pour it then with your hand up and down motion again like that you can also do this with your kids let's say your kids don't know how to do it yet let's say your three year or old toddler this is how you do it like for them all you need to do again wash their front right front and up and down motion like that then once that's done you have your water then scoot them over and wash their behind by pouring water again then on a you know, up and down motion cleaning it and once you're done with that all you need to do is either you know, use a paper towel to dry yourself or use your washcloths in order to save your paper towel right and make sure it's clean and wipe from front and once that's done you can also wipe the back okay then once you're done okay all you need to do is wash your hands again and make sure to wash it really good to avoid again infection and possible diarrhea because you don't want poop or whatever you know in your hand to avoid the diarrhea okay thank you i hope you are able to learn some survival skills and an alternative way of cleaning yourself without the use of toilet paper if you have enjoyed this video and have learned something give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel feel free to share this post to your friends and if you have any ideas or tips that you can also share feel free to put it on the comments line below we are all here to learn with each other as a gift i've also included all my checklist scroll down on my description below to download it feel free to download everything again this is jennifer uinko you are my priority for anything real estate serving houston tombow spring and the surrounding cities i'll see you next tuesday bye